Today, I am going to solve a problem on stereoselectivity using Cram's rule. You can find this problem in CSNA exam 2014 December. When this ketone is reduced with lithium aluminium hydride, it gives corresponding alcohol with S yes, stereochemistry. Then, what is the stereochemistry of this center? The starting material, it is not mentioned. It is chiral, but the stereochemistry is not mentioned. Based on this stereochemistry, we have to predict the stereochemistry of this methyl group. The given options are here, 3, R and 6, S. So that is, this portion is 3 and this is 6. What is the stereochemistry on this carbon as well as this one? So whether it is RS, RR, SS, SR. In order to solve this, you should know Cram's rule and assigning R and S configuration. First, let us go to Cram's rule. Cram's rule, it is based on this transient state. We have to write the molecule like this. This is medium, small and large groups. This is carbonyl carbon which is going to be reduced with lithium aluminium hydride. Now the nucleophile can approach from this side as well as this side. In this case the nucleophile is H- hydride from lithium aluminium hydride. Which one is more preferred? If you compare the steric hindrance this side, methyl group and the bulkier group, medium and large groups are this side. The other side, small and large. So for steric reasons, this side attack is more preferred than this one. So, when hydride is delivered here, oxygen goes this side and what we get is this compound. So, this is a large group CH2CH2C ethyl and methyl. This is methyl and this hydrogen. Now, what will be the stereochemistry of this methyl and hydroxyl? Are they cis? Generally, our students make mistake here. So immediately they write hydroxyl, since this is methyl group, medium sized, they are cis to each other. They write like that. No, they are not cis to each other. Because the methyl and the large group, they are the same direction in this product. But in the given structure, the methyl and the large group, they are trans to each other. So we have to arrange these two groups in trans fashion, then only you can compare. I fix the rear one as such, then I rotate this by 180 degree. What I get is
this compound. I have rotated that by 180 degree. Now compare this. Methyl and hydroxyl, they are trans to each other. If you see as such, they are cis. When you go for the zigzag line, it is trans. So, I apply that here. Hydroxyl and methyl group, they should be trans. That is, the stereochemistry of this methyl group should be like this. Now, what about the configuration of this and this chiral centers? The numbering starts from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In ethyl, there are two carbons. First, I go for 6. Since the least priority is away from us, it will be somewhat easy to assign R and S configuration. The IA priority goes to this bulkier group. So, one second priority goes to ethyl and third priority goes to methyl. So, it is anti-clockwise direction. Since the least priority is away from us, I go as such. So, six carbon as S stereochemistry. So this and this, this matching. What about this? The least priority, it is facing towards us. The higher priority goes to this group because the second atom, it is oxygen. But here it is carbon. So this gets higher priority, second one goes to this, third one this, fourth one hydrogen. You go for this, it is yes, anti-clockwise direction. Since the least priority is facing towards us, we have to go for the opposite one, that is R. So 3R according to the Gram's model of transient state, this methyl and the larger group they are eclipsed. If it is aldehyde, then this will be hydrogen. The steric hindrance between the larger group and hydrogen will be somewhat less. But when we go for ketone, this will be somewhat bulkier. So because of that, the steric hindrance between this alkyl and the larger group will be huge. That was not taken into consideration the Cramps model. So, Felkin proposed another model So, the rear carbon I have not touched The front carbon, it has been rotated by 90 degree. The rotation is anti-clockwise direction. So I have rotated from here to there. The reason is, if this group is rotated the other side, then again there will be more steric hindrance because of this and this medium and large group. The steric hindrance will be high again. That's why it has been rotated in this direction since there is small group and the steric hindrance between the small group and or R will be very less. Now the nucleophile can attack the ketone from this face or from this side.
This side attack is more facile than this one because there is large group at the bottom which give some steric hindrance for the incoming nuclear fire. As a result, what we get is the rear carbon. I am not changing at all. So the nuclear file is attacking from the top and this OH comes this side or it's like this. In our case, the nuclear file is hydrogen from lithium aluminum hydride. Now, this or this methyl and the large group should be trans to each other. Then only you can arrange them in the zigzag line. So I rotate this by 120 degree and what we get is this compound. The same whatever we have got in the earlier model. The product obtained, the methyl group and the hydroxyl group, they are trans to each other. In order to explain the formation of the trans product, they propose a transient state. Now, I am going to confuse you This aldehyde is treated with phenyl magnesium bromide and what we get is this alcohol. So phenyl minus attacks here and what we get is secondary alcohol. What will be the stereochemistry? Whether this ethyl and hydroxyl will be cis or trans. In the earlier case, the hydroxyl and methyl, sorry, it is methyl. They were trans. In order to solve this, I go for the Cramps rule again. So this is Cramps model. Phenyl minus attacks here. And what we get is come out like this. So the phenyl minus has attacked here and the OH has gone the other side. So we get this. Now this hydroxyl and methyl they are cis. But the larger group and phenyl they are not trans. So in order to write this in zigzag line I have to bring this here. That means I have to rotate this by 60 degree. What I get is like this. I have applied the same rule. I have not changed anything here so far. 
Now look at this phenyl ring and the larger group they are trans. Here the larger group and phenyl they are trans. What about this methyl and hydroxyl? They are cis. In the earlier case, hydroxyl and methyl, they were trans. But now, it is cis. So this is where the students get confused. I have not changed the attack. I have applied the cramps rule as such. But still, the product whatever I have got that is different. The reason is, in the earlier case, the phenyl was not added. Instead of that, hydrate was added. When I add phenyl and when you put that in the zigzag line, then it comes cis.